Hello, Sportsman Z here, and uh, today I am going to do a comparison video where I compare the out of the park baseball game with the Stratomatic computer baseball game. And uh, I hope you like this new view. It's kind of the outside, just a little different, you know. But anyway, if you know me, you know that I'm a Strat guy. So there might be a built-in bias for Strat, but maybe not. We'll see. I've played both games, Out of the Park and Stratomatic. I like both games, big fan of both games. And so we'll see which one comes out the winner in this comparison video that I'm doing as I walk around my housing complex. And so I hope you enjoy this kind of change of pace, little difference, but let's get in to the video. So, let's start our discussion by talking about out-of-the-park baseball. And let me move my face over here. So, as you can see, this is the main, this is the main page for the out-of-the-park baseball. I mean, I guess you can see that if you have out-of-the-park baseball and you know anything about it. Um, one thing I do want to point out is right here, new historical game. And by game, they mean basically season. And right here, you'll see that it says, play any historical season from 1871 to 2019. So that is one cool feature of Out of the Park Baseball, is you can play any season. You buy it at, at any particular year you buy it, you have the, the previous season all the way back to 1871, if you want. And you can play any of those seasons. Now, I'm going to load the game that I have going. Okay, so. Um, now, in my particular game that I'm playing, and let me, let me move this over a little bit. All right, I guess that's good. In the, in the game that I'm playing, I'm currently the Twins. Now, there is something I wanted to point out about this um, that is kind, of, uh, is kind of strange. Out of the park baseball, um, unlike Stratomatic, Stratomatic has cards. They have cards that the player's uh, um, performance is based on. Out of the Park is not really based strictly off a player's performance. It's based off a skill set for the players. So um, I'll give you an idea of what I mean here. Um, we go to uh, the Minnesota Twins. Oh, here. Okay, so here you got the Twins. And let me, I'll just click on a, a player. Here's uh, Luis Arreyes. And as you can see right here, he's got, um, they've got, you know, the statistics for him, you know, vital statistics for him over here. Date of birth, city of birth, country of origin. Um, and then you've got here um, different ratings. So you can see contact, he's an 80. It's a blue bar and it's 80. That means he's really good at contact. Gap power, it's green, and he's 60, so that means he's, he's pretty good at gap power, you know, with gap power, but he's not quite as good as, a, as he is a, a contact hitter. Uh, home run power, he's just a 25, and it's red. Obviously, he's not good at home run power. He doesn't have that kind of power. Um, eye and discipline, he's a 55-65. 
avoid strikeouts. He's an 80, so he's not going to strike out as much as your usual major league player. Uh, right now, he's a four and a half star player with a potential to be a five star player. So these things are generally, I mean, you can tell by looking at these things that, yeah, how good a player he is and that obviously Arias is good. So there's no, um, you know, there's no, um, no doubt about that. And you can assess his abilities based on these, these ratings, but you have to go by these ratings. And part of the problem that I have with games like this is like he's a contact hitter 80 and then if you have a pitcher who is poop whether you have a pitcher with bad control or good control you don't know how the computer factors in a contact 80 with a pitcher who has poor control or a pitcher that has great control you don't know how that factors in you don't know how those two how those things mesh in stratomatic it's it's apparently um, you know, it, it, it's readily apparent to you what happened and how the result was obtained. So that's one thing. Now, here's something I want to show you. Well, let's go up to my managerial history file. Now, here, and I'm going to slide this over because so, you need to see all of this. Um, you can see that in 2020, I managed the White Sox, and um, that season is complete, and I was 35 and 25, and that's what the real White Sox were. So, okay, fine, that's great. And to be honest with you, after that season, I was really pumped. I was like, okay, this is going to really simulate, you know, how things really should be. Well, not really. So move on to 2021. Now, in this game, the game makes its own trades. Like I'm on manager mode where I'm just the manager. So uh, I, that, that was the same situation with the White Sox. They had a GM, a computer GM who made all of the trades. And that's the same thing with the Twins. I'm just the manager of the Twins. And they have a computer GM who makes all the trades. <laughs> so the trades for the White Sox in 2021 wouldn't have been the real trades that the actual White Sox made. And in fact, the 2021 White Sox are probably far different than the real 2021 White Sox. But here's the point I want to make. I was 21 and 24 with the actual White Sox. Now let's go to the uh, uh, let's go to the standings. So you can see that the White Sox are 45 and 49. So they're playing a little worse than um, well, actually they're playing about the same. They're playing well, right in the same. They're right in the same ballpark of as bad as. Um, I, you know, they were with me. But here's what I want to point out. The Twins are 47 and 49. Now, if we go to my managerial history, you can see that I'm 20 and 31 with the Twins. So what that means is that when I took over the Twins, they were 27 and 18. And now they are far under 500 while I'm managing them. Now, I'm, I, I know what you're out there saying. You're saying, well, maybe you're just a terrible manager. Okay, you know, maybe I am. But I know a little bit about baseball. So even if I'm a terrible manager, I doubt I could be so bad that a team goes from, um, you know, seven, nine, nine games over 500, nine or 10 games over 500 to, um, to 11 games under, you know, and, and plays 11 games under 500 when I take over. So, 
you really have to ask how that happened, why that happened. And you don't know. There's You're never going to know because you don't know how the computer is arriving at the results that it gets for you. So um, let's uh, try to turn down the sound. So let's go to um, let's go to the uh, the game. And I'm just going to start the game versus the Blue Jays. I'm not going to actually play the entire game. But I do want to show you what it looks like when you're actually playing it. So you can see right here, you've got the pitcher. Um, uh, and for us, that's... Uh, who is that? Jose Barrios. All right. And you can see that um, the game uses like a sliding bar to determine his stamina or what remains of his stamina for the pitchers. Right now, he's at the very end. He's green. He's, you know, whatever. He's fresh, ready to go. Um, so we will um, we'll get the first pitch going here. Now, the ballparks are kind of like artist rendering ballparks. They're not real photographs of the actual ballparks, um, which Stratomatic does have, and they have night and day versions of them. But as you can see, the player animation, I would say, is much better than Stratomatic. So... We will take another pitch. You can see the players, You can, all the players are on, out on the, you know, you can see the player throw the ball over, the pitcher pitch the ball. So the animation, the player animation is very good and out of the park. It's a lot better than, um, than Stratomatics is. And this is out of the park 21, so I want to make that clear. 20 out of the park 22 is out, and it maybe has even you know features that are even better than this. That's quite possible. Um, and there you go. There's a deep fly ball. So uh, anyway, that's you know that's just a look at that. Um, So anyway, that's, let me get the players back out on them, you know, and, and they also have cartoon, like, you know, drawings of the players. Now for 21, I haven't seen a way to get player photos into the game in place of these like cartoon versions of the players' faces. Now that's not really a big thing. Um, you know, some People don't care at all. Even in Stratomatic, they'll go with just the, you know, the pitcher icon or the batter icon. They don't really care if they have the um, player's uh, photo. I think it adds to the game. It adds something to it, makes it a little more enjoyable. But, you know, that's just me. But uh, so anyway, you've got that. And uh, and we, you know, we talked about how the players are rated, although you Again, you don't know how those factor in to getting you the results from the game. And I also showed you how the Twins are terrible with me managing them. And they were a lot better before I took them over. Um, so I'm not sure how that happened. Now, if that happens to you in Stratomatic, you'll be able to see it because you can see the cards, you can see the rolls, you can see how the computer rolls on what cards if you want to have that option up during the game. So you're going to know how it happened. And maybe it's just happenstance. Maybe that's how it is. I don't know. So, um, oh, and I do want to, there is something else that I do want to, uh, so let's see here. I mean, let me move myself out here. I'm just going to simulate the game to the end. And uh, you can see, let's see what happened. 
Oh, great. We ended up winning. Nice. So we're going to leave the game. And we're going to go to the standings page. And so there we are. We're seven and a half back. 48 and 49. Um, and I did want to look at something. Oh, yes, yes. Let's look at the uh, stats for the team. Um, let's see. You know what? We can go to... Uh, Let's go to the player list. Now, let's take a look at, um, well, you can see right here, this is the home run column. So let's go to the top of the home run column. So you can see Miguel Sano has 37 home runs. Okay, we aren't even anywhere close to through the season yet. And um, and he's got 37 homers. And Max Kepler has 21 homers. So let's go, you know, back to the standings. And uh, yeah, and so we played like 97 games. We've only played 97 games of a 162 game season. And Sano has 37 homers. That's really kind of unrealistic, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and let's take a look. While we're here, while we're on the standings page, let's take a look and see what some of these teams are doing. Um, I guess as far as what the teams are doing, it's, it's basically about what you might expect, except that the Yankees are 43 and 50. That's, you know, what's up with that? Um, you got the Astros winning the uh, win in the West, which is reasonable. And the Angels only two games behind them. The Athletics three games behind uh, Houston. Over in the uh, NL East, you got Atlanta winning the division. That's reasonable. The Mets in second. Really anything here would be reasonable. Almost anything. Um, the Central Division, the Cubs are winning it, the Brewers in second, Cincinnati in third. Now, the Pirates are um, a, a half game better than St. Louis. That's kind of strange. So you're going to get some strange results. L.A. is winning the West, though, 10 games better than the Padres. Again, <clears throat> the computer didn't necessarily, the computer jam for the Padres didn't necessarily make all the deals that the real Padres made, so... You could understand that. So we're going to finish this up. And so um, that's basically um, what we've got with, with out of the park baseball. All right. So now here we have the Stratomatic game, Stratomatic baseball. Anyone that plays Stratomatic baseball, this screen should look fairly familiar. I do have some personalization in it, but basically it should look familiar to you. Over here, you can see we have a list of team or a list of seasons. And, you know, this is an extensive list, however. And so uh, on the left side of the screen, you have the list of leagues. Then when you click on a league, you get the list of teams in that league. Very simple to understand, however, when we look at all of these leagues, I had to purchase all of these leagues to have them. So um, that is one very, very big difference between Stratomatic and Out of the Park. You buy one Out of the Park and you get every season that was ever played up to that season. You purchase Stratomatic, you get last year's season, and then if you want past seasons, like for instance here, 1909, you have to buy 1909. And this isn't even really all of the seasons I own. This is just the ones that I um, had gotten reinstated 
Um, I have others I could reinstate, but I couldn't possibly play them all anyway, so I'm not going to do that, at least not right now. But I did want to show you that, um, and let's see here. Let's turn down the sound. There we go. All right. Um, if we go to the 1919 American League, I will set up a game just to show, uh, you know, how they, how it plays. Let's go, um, uh, let's see here. Oh, all right. Well, no, we're not going to do that. All right. So we go to new unscheduled game because I don't want to do anything to any of my current seasons. We go to the 1919 American League, and we will take Boston, 1919 Boston, against uh, the 1919, oh, no, wrong league, 1919 White Sox, And they're going to be computer. I'll be human, at least for the moment. I mean, I don't know how much of this we're going to play. Probably not a lot of it. Um, make it a day game because this was back in 1919. So there wouldn't have been any such thing as a night game, a, a night game at that time. Um, Bill James against Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth pitching here. Nice matchup. So anyway, let's go play ball. And uh, so you can see Bill James is on the mound, and he's going up against Harry Hooper. I know everything isn't really in the screen here, and it's using a generic uh, New York Yankees ball field, but that still is it helps illustrate my point. This is an actual photo of uh, Yankee Stadium. So um, you get, instead of like a, an artist's rendering of Yankee Stadium, you get the actual, uh, you get a photograph of the actual stadium. Now, as you can see, um, out of the park, you could actually see the animated players in the field. Here, Stratomatic just puts the names of the players and where they are and what their ratings are. Um, so there's that. Now... Um, when, when a player bats, and this is, I want to, I, I'm going to have to move this over because we need to see the cards. Uh, when a player bats in Stratomatic, you're going to get this card that pops up. The red on the top is the batter's card, and the blue card on the bottom is the pitcher's card. So Bill James, Bill James's card is in the blue and Harry Hooper's card is in the red. And then you hit swing away and you can see an animated, a generic an animated pitcher and batter go at it. Um, and, you know, there was, I guess that was a strikeout. And so the next guy comes up, Ozzy, um, Ozzy Vitt. Put, so now he gets a base hit. You can see the animated ball, but you can't see the players go play the ball. You just get a result of what happened. And there is a way that you can make the um, the game, you know, slide back and forth over these possibilities in the one, two, and three, or four, five, and six column, so that you can see what happened. This doesn't happen to be set to that, but there is a way to do that so that you could see what it what the computer rolled in order to get the result. And so now you see there's no animated player on first base. It's just Vitt's name on first base and then Roth at the plate. And um, now one thing that it does have 
you can see you've got an actual uh, picture. I'm going to slide back and forth here to get everything into the screen. You can see that you've got an actual photo of Bill James. And then uh, Brago Roth is up at the plate, but we apparently don't have a photo of Brago Roth. However, if I were to go in and find a photo of Br Brago Watt Roth, I could add it to the game. And then I would have his photo here batting. And that's relatively easy to do. Now, in Out of the Park 21, like I said, I did not see a way to actually do that. So there, you know, there is that um, situation with, um, with, uh, with Out of the Park, is that you get the cartoon players, and I haven't seen a way in Out of the Park 21 to get the real photos of the players in the game. Now, Out of the Park 22 is out, and it may have that. I don't know. But I didn't see a way to do it. Now, one thing I do want to say about, um, there's something else that I didn't mention when I was in the Out of the Park version, and also now when I'm here, and, um, and that I want to mention about Stratomatic. And that is that let me see there we go so now you see on bill james's card in the five column at five five you've got a ground ball c and then there's uh an at symbol after it what that basically means i think that's um where you've got the um that's the out that turns into a hit and there are a couple of them there's a strikeout up at five two that becomes a hit um, a, 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 two ground, a ground ball and a fly ball at 5'11 and 5'12 that become hits and, uh, and a strikeout at 4'12 that becomes a hit when Bill James is tired. Now, um, what I want to point out about this is because of where these are all located, you actually could get by with Bill James pitching tired in Stratomatic. In Out of the Park, that really doesn't happen. In Out of the Park, you'll remember there was a sliding bar and it went from green to like very dark crimson red. If a pitcher in Out of the Park, at least my experience has been, if a pitcher in Out of the Park gets to the crimson red, he almost never makes an out. He never gets an out. Or it's so few and far between that you just absolutely cannot go on with him pitching. But if you look at this situation for Bill James, you actually could keep pitching Bill James because between um, four and ten in each column, he only has one out that becomes a hit, and the other ones are all at two or eleven or twelve, which are hit a lot less often. Now, he does have a few of them, but you still could probably get by with him pitching, even if he were tired. And that's actually what, it's, that's more like real life. Um, you could actually get by with a pitcher pitching tired, he would make outs. Um, so I think that that's a little bit more realistic in that regard. Out of the park, you almost have to, whenever they hit the red, you have to take them out. You really have to, or you're just going to lose the game. In Stratomatic, that's not necessarily the case. You don't have to take them out because they could get, you could get another inning, maybe squeeze another inning or two out of a tired pitcher in Stratomatic, which I actually like. And so, and like I said, you can tell from these, um, you know, uh, from the rolls that you would get from the virtual dice, you could tell what really happened and you would know how it happened. If a pitcher gives up 12 hits in a game, in Out of the Park, you don't really know why he gave up 12 hits. You don't know how his, you know, ratings meshed with the ratings of the batters he faced and why it was that he gave up those 12 hits. Here, in Stratomatic, if a pitcher gives up 12 hits, you know why it happened you can see the virtual dice roll. Now, whether the virtual dice roll is really random or not, that's a, dis that's a whole nother discussion for a whole nother video. I think I did a video on it, but uh, maybe I'll do another one just in case. But um, 
that's a discussion, a whole nother discussion. But whatever those roles are, whether random or whether completely random or not, you can see them happen right here on the screen. And so you know why they happen. You know what happened. You know how it happened. So let me get out of here. Um, yeah, discard. And so we go back. And that was basically, you know, that's my that's my just dis my discussion on Stratomatic, I think. And so um, we will go to the comparison board and compare the two products side by side. All right. So here I am with the ratings board. We're going to go through and do the ratings on these two games in several categories. Now the categories are going to be playability, player graphics, stadium graphics, available seasons, features or modes, realism, transparency or the game engine's transparency specifically, the look of the game and the cost. So those are what we're going to rate them on. And the ratings are going to fall into, they're going to be rated on a scale of 1 to 10. And they're going to fall into three general categories. One is being prominent, a, a prominent feature of the game. And that, that will generally get a higher rating. Uh, the second category is it's there, but, uh, you know, it's it's there in some form. But it's not, it's not like a selling point or prominent. And then the last category will be that the game can't do it. So let's take a look at these one by one. The first category is playability. That is, you buy the game, you download it, and you are ready to play it. And you want to go ahead, you know, basically, and play the game. Now, what I'm going to say about this is that... Um, I'm going to give, let's see, for, um, let's see, for Out of the Park and for, um, and for Strat, I'm going to give them, um, I'm going to give them both a very good rating. I think um, I would say probably it's probably an, you know I don't like to give the, the you know a ten in any category ever you know so we'll go with nine for both of them. I think that they're both nines in you know whether the playability of the game is a prominent feature because it is. The next one you got is player graphics. Now, for player graphics, I'm going to say um, out of the park is I would give them uh, I'd give them an eight. I guess it would be almost an eight. For Strat, I'm going to give Strat a five. I'm going to put them in five. There are some player graphics, but they're they're just a car, you know, it's just a cartoon pitcher and a cartoon batter at first. And then the rest of the players are just their names on the field and, you know, their name at the plate. So I'm going to kind of give that a five because there are some player graphics and some ball graphics and, you know, that kind of thing during the game that you, while you're playing. But it isn't, it's not anywhere near what Out of the Park is. Uh, for stadium graphics, I'm going to give Strat, um, you know what, they're both going to be in the blue, but I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to give Strat a, maybe a nine on that, and I'm going to give Out of the Park a seven, because Out of the Park has the stadium graphics, and I think they have the correct stadiums. But you, um, but they're like artist renderings, and especially in like 21 and before, they're very archaic. The, the the renderings of the stadiums, the ball field is nice, 
but the surrounding areas, it's kind of like they just kind of mailed it in with the surrounding, you know, the wall and the, the crowd and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's what I would give them both in that category. Now, available seasons, we're going to go out of the park is definitely a, uh, I mean, really, you know, I don't like giving tens, but basically out of the park is a 10 for available seasons because they have every season. And when you purchase the game, you get every season. Um, for Strat, I'm going to say, I'm going to give them a five. They're going to be in the middle category here and they're going to get a five because they do have the seasons, but you have to buy each one individually. So that's, um, you know, that, that kind of knocks them down a few notches. But they do, I think they do have every available season. You could go back in the computer game and you could buy any season from the past in that range, 1871 to the present. But you have to buy each one separately. It doesn't come with the game, and that's you know part of that feature. The next one now, the next one is features and modes. And um, here I'm going to give out of the park. I'm going to give out out of the park. Um, I'm going to say a nine. I'm going to give out of the park a nine on that. For Strat, again, they're kind of in the middle. They're not, you know, I mean, it's not that you can't do it. Like, for instance, out of the park, you can play as the general manager of the team or the manager of the team or both. You can be the general manager and the manager of the team. And you get offers, you get routinely, you get offers from other um, teams you have to cut players, you have to put players on the IL, you have to bring players back when you're the general manager. Um, when you're the manager, you just manage what you're given. So, you know. But in Strat, Strat doesn't really specifically have that. You can make an offer to another team. And it does have a mode where when you, um, like, suppose you quick play a season, but you're taking one season or one team through the season, you can set it to um, player transactions, and there will be trades between teams. Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember because I haven't used it for a while, the fe that feature. I'm not sure if a team will come to you as a human and offer you um, a... A, a, a trade but you can offer other teams a trade the only thing is that the computer asks for you know parts of your anatomy that you don't want to give up to make any trade they, I mean they ask for too much way too much you know you could be trading to get a second baseman from him a great second baseman and you're giving him a good really solid player but um, he feels like he's losing too many at bats at catch or at second base. Even if he has another second baseman, he could easily slide in there. Another thing is you can trade draft picks and stuff like that. And out of the park as a general manager, you really can't do that in Strat. Strat only focuses on the season at hand. You it can't take into account you're going to give me a draft pick next year. Or you're going to give me, um, you know, prospects from your minor league system. Out of the Park has all of that. But there is a feature somewhat that will allow you to somewhat be a general manager or serve as a general manager in Strat. It's just very limited. Now, realism. Realism, I'm going to go with, uh, you know what, I'm going to say Strat is probably a strat I'm gonna say is a seven I'm not gonna quite put them up to eight because if you do mix seasons if you mix seasons and eras you're gonna get some kind of wacky stats even 
though they have cards that are based on, you know, this is what they did. Because even Stratomatic will tell you, this is only if you play these players in this year, their realism, that is. Um, the realism is only going to be there if you play these players and these teams in the season that they were made for against the competition that they actually played against. So I'm going to give Strat a 7. Now, out of the park, I'm going to put them in the middle. And I'm going to put them at 5. I think you're starting to get the impression that, you know, the only way you go to red is if you're below five. But anyway, yeah, out of the park, I would say it's a five. And there are reasons for that. I went over with the out of the park um, talk, you know, how I took over the Twins and they were several games above 500. And then um, now they're like nine games under 500. And Sano is hitting 30, he's got 37 home runs and we're not even at game 100 of the season yet. So the realism is kind of, and I think that's, that's something, and that's the reason, that's something that'll happen when you have a game engine that just rates the players, you know, on a rating scale. And then comes up with some kind of, um, you know, confrontational um, result when they are batting or pitching. You know, that's that's kind of what happens. So I'll give them a five there. Now, transparency of the game engine. Right there, you got Strat at a solid... Strat's a solid nine. Because you can tell exactly why what happened happened with Strat. Um, out of the park, you know what? Out of the park, I'm going to put at... Um, Probably they're the first one to hit the red. I'm going to put them at maybe three, no four. I'll give them a four. You can see in Out of the Park who should be really good and who should be mediocre and who should be terrible based on the ratings that they get. But um, you, you don't know why what happened happened in strat you absolutely do know why what happened happened uh look at the game that's kind of like that goes kind of hand in hand with playability but um i'm gonna say that um out of the park's look of the game with their with the graphics that they have you can make up your own manager picture you, they've, they've got photos of all of the, um, the all of the team logos. So I'm going to say that they're a nine. I'm going to give them a nine on that. Strat, I'm going to give them. It's tough. I'm yeah. I'm going to say Strat is probably a five. On look of the game, uh, yeah. Because most of the stuff, like like um, team logos, player photos, that sort of thing, you have to go get those. You have to get those yourself and put them in a file. Strat provides the file and the ability to do that to make the look of the game better, but you have to do that yourself. Uh, with um, Out of the Park, all that stuff is in there. The team, you know, the graphics for the logos and... The player, the cartoon, you know, depictions of the players and everything are already in the game. Now, uh, cost. All right, so we're going to go out of the park for cost is we're going to give them a nine. Because I think when any... Um, when any new iteration of Out of the Park comes out, it's like 45 or $50. I want to say it's like 45 or 50 bucks, something like that. But you get every season. You get every single season, all of the minor leagues at the time, everything is built into every game. 
every iteration of the game that you buy for the 45 or 50 bucks. Strat, we're going to put down in the red. Um, Strat is kind of a, uh, I would say, even go as far as to say they're a three. Because um, you have to buy every single season that you want, if you want the seasons. In fact, even this past season, they had an imagined season where Stratomatic kind of projected what everybody would do if there were a full season to play. And then they did an as-played 60-game season. If you wanted both of those, you had to buy both of them. It only came with the 60 as played season. If you wanted the imagined season, you had to purchase it. And the same thing goes with any season from the past. Now, sure, you know, if you buy a seat, like if I buy the 78 season, it's probably only 24 bucks and that's not going to break me. But you can imagine if you want to buy 10 seasons from the past like that, it's going to be $240. You get every single season with Out of the Park. So it's way better. Um, and also with Strat, if you want stadium images from older stadiums like the Baker Bowl or um, uh, Crosley Field, you have to buy those too. Um, so, yeah. it's um, It can get costly. If you want to go top shelf with Strat, it can get costly. So, uh, which game is better? Well, what I would say is it depends. You can look over here and you can see it really depends on what you want. If you're just looking for like you are just, you're a new, you know, you're, a, you're new to baseball gaming and you just want last year's season. You're like, hey, I, you know, last year was a great season or whatever. It really wasn't. But... If, if you say, I want last year's season, I want to replay that and see if I can get my team <clears throat> to be better in the 60 games than they actually were, then I think Strat is your game. But if you want a game that has cool graphics and you want to be able to play any season that you ever played and you want to be in, in complete charge of the game, then you want out of the park because... You can be the general manager. You, If you want to play 1978, 1978 is in there with all of their minor leaguers at the time, many of which you know, became major leaguers. So so that's that's your game. If you're somebody, you're like a veteran player um, and you just want to play all sorts of different seasons and have any season at your beck and call, then, <coughs> then you want out of the park. But they're both very good games. I don't want to take, I don't want to come off as saying, you know, because I'm a Strat guy, Strat is better. No, Strat has its drawbacks, and the drawbacks are up here on the board. Um, but um, if, uh, but, you know, they're, they're both good. Out of the Park is a good game. It's just, you know, I don't understand why I'm doing so much worse with the Twins than the computer did. That's something I would like to figure out. And when, you know, Sano hits 37 home runs in less than 100 games, I'd like to know why he's hit 37 home runs in less than 100 games. We'll see if he does that in real life, but I'm going to guess no, he will not do that. So that is my discussion and my comparison of the two games. What did you think? Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Which game do you like better? Have you played both? Have you only played one and you think I'm really shortchanging the one that you played? Um, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Go back, look through my channel. I got over 600 videos. There's got to be something you like in there. But for right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.